Kelly Lindemer. Yes, this was Kelly Lindemer. Okay, and welcome to another edition of Colorado High School Basketball. Two-way action here is the Badgers hosting the Marino Rams. Rams and the Badgers just tipped off, and the Badgers got to a fast start. Was that Vic? That Vic was, I believe. No, Hollenbach hit uh, it. Oh, Hollenbach. Hollenbach. Vic with the assist. So quickly, we have the Rams on offense right now as the uh, Badgers up four to nothing. Shot up and rebounded by the Rams. That's number 10. That's Bay Bailey Walzer, a five foot four junior. Full court pressure by the Rams. Tatum. Get it over to West and out of bounds. So four to two, 635. If you just joined us, first quarter action here on ColoradoPreps.tv. Andrea Anderson, Anna Weissensee, and Tim Anderson on the call here. Rams will inbound it to number 24. That's Rachel Mari, a sophomore 5-5. Rams always a contender. Coached by Brian Dermer. Assistant coach Jana Sides. And there's a steal and a foul. And that's going to be number 11, Morgan Book, a senior, 5'9". Update your score here as it shows 0-0 zero zero on the scoreboard on your screen. Again, full court pressure. Shelby West nearly trips and loses the ball. Hollenbach gets it over to the top to Lineber. Lineber about loses the ball, and it is... Vic, she a handle. Loses yeah, the ball. poor ball Tatum handling here, folks. <laughs> Tatum almost loses the ball and does. And I know, uh, Anna, you were able to see the last couple games. You know, the turnovers were a killer for the uh, for the Badgers in the Kiowa game, and uh, they need to definitely turn tune that down this game. 30, 32 tu turnovers last game, and there's a long shot. That was number ten, I think. Yeah. Walzer. Bailey Walzer. That will put the. Lady Rams up by a point as Tatum's driving. She gets a pass off to Lineber. Lineber shoots. No good. Rebound in there by number five. 35, I'm sorry. Probe says the referee blows his whistle for a foul. Yeah, five to four is the score right now. Rams up on top. Rams with the ball. Susie just got her first foul. Kaylee's the game. Ah. Let's not jinx her now. I, I'm trying not to, okay? I don't <laughs> want her to foul. I don't Probst gets it into Walzer. Walzer will bring it down on the far side. Guarded by Vic. Out to number 40. That's Kylie Mertz, a senior, 5'9". Inside, shot no good up by Probst, and there'll be a foul, and it will be coming the other way. Was it a foul? No. Walk, three seconds. Three seconds? No. Nope. Just hit it out. Oh. And that's what I get for looking down. Nice job of breaking the press as Vic will get it. One too many passes to Shelby, and that's one of the things that the girls will hopefully learn by the end of the year is to get a feel for how many passes, that, you know, how the fast break will flow. And that probably should have been taken by Vic into Katera Tatum. She'll put it up and would be fouled by number 40, Mertens. And she'll go to the line shooting too. That's Marino's second team foul. Wait, who had that foul? 40. The Rams two and one overall. The Badgers at one and two opposite. And Tatum makes it an even score, five to five. Apologize if you had trouble joining us earlier. We uh, had some internet difficulty, and we're now running on broadband as. Tatum makes it two, and six to five is the score. Up by one are the Badgers. As number 24, Rachel Mari will bring it down across half court. Guarded by Hollenbaugh. And wide open is number 35. That is Probst. They didn't see her. Now down in the box there. It looked like it was partially tipped. Number 24 will put it up and in. Mari for two. Seven to six. Rams on top. Tatum, Tatum takes it all the way down. Tatum makes it look e easy, and that's one of the keys to this team as they go through the season. Tatum has got to step up. Obviously, they're going to put a lot of defensive pressure on her because she does have the capability of scoring. She had 17 early on in the season. 
it's good to see Katura take it to the hoop because I remember last year. Last yeah. year, well, and and it improved so much last year, but even the year before, just a little tentative, and it, you know, it's nice to see her with that confidence that she's just gonna, if she's got that open shot, she's gonna drive it in. That's good to see. Exactly. Shelby West comes out. Yeah, Shelby she's had a little shook up yeah. as uh, Florek comes in. And she had a few uh, missteps there, and hopefully she didn't. Foul will be called. On Walder. Walder. Her first foul, team third foul. Hollenbaugh gets it in to Flora. Flora back to Hollenbaugh. It's across the half part line to Vic. Vic drives. Yeah, She's she'll looking for Lineber. She'll pass it off to Lineber. Lineber back into Vic. Vic will turn and go strong to the basket. No foul. Rebounded by the Rams. Thanks, Vander. Oh, nice job. Hollenbaugh with a steal. Put it up. No good. Rebound. Vic. Vic in the paint and puts it up and will count it. And one. And Coach Dermer not happy with that set of events. The basket will count. Score now is 10 to 7. Badgers up by 3. And Vic's just going to come out. She's replaced by number. 31, she knows, back in. Sorry, I talked on top of you. No, you're fine. I, uh, was trying to get my commercials all set and ready. Vic doesn't get the three. Rebounded by the Rams. Oh, and then a quick pass stolen by Hollenbaugh. Bad pass inside by the Rams, and Vic will put it up. No good. Rebounded by number 40. That's Mertens. Mertens will get it over to Mari. Mari down to Walzer. Walzer will... Bring it back out, top of the key. Gets it over to Mari. Mari inside on the key. Oh, nice pass cross court. Mertens will kick it back out to Walzer for three. No good, rebound Tatum. And she'll get it out to... Whoa. That was number 15, Carolyn Florick. And she'll go to the line. Mari fouls. That'll be Mari's second foul. Five team fouls already for the Rams, one for the Badgers. And Florida's first one is up and rolls out. Three minutes and 24 seconds to go here in the first quarter. You're listening to ColoradoPreps.tv. And the second one's good. 11 to seven is the score. Probst is set to come back in. Somebody has to come out. There we go. Mari's going to take a rest. Broke go. into Walzer. Walzer will bring it down. Florek with good defense as she forces Walzer to kick it over to Mertens inside to Probes. Probes will put it up and will be fouled. Probst is doing exactly what we were talking about Tatum doing for the Badgers. She's getting that open shot and taking it to the hoop. She is. She drew the foul from Hollenbaugh. That would be JC first, team second. Katira Tatum has a lot of skill, and she just needs to realize that she's nearly six foot and is a bigger, she's one of the biggest individuals out there and uh, really could control the game, but she's just got to get that through her mind. I believe for her is six one, actually. Is she really? Our inside information there from Anna Weissensky. I don't know, but I do know she is tall. She's tall. And she's way taller than me. Lorik out to Lineber. Lineber around the top of the key. Inside, nice pass. Up to Vic. There will be probes. We'll inbound it. Two minutes and 50 seconds to go here as Walzer will bring it up. Coverage of the high school basketball season is provided in part by Hoffman Drug, Verizon, and Signal, Arby's of Lyman, Equitable Savings and Loan, and Morgan Community College as the Rams will try and pass it in. That is number 31, Elsa Shino, a senior 5'4". She'll try to put it in there, and it's kicked out of bounds off of the Badgers. And over the head 
uh, Mertens and Walzer will control it. Gets it over to Mertens down the corner to Shino. Shino puts it up and it's short of the rim. Here comes Florek. And she doesn't have the numbers, but she'll go in and no foul as Probst will get the rebound as Florek's layup will fall short. Shino will take over the point guard duties coming across half court. Kicks it out to Probst just outside the three point line there. Out of Walzer. Back over to Shino. Over the top to Mertens. Now swung around to Walzer. No good. And a nice job of Shino as she crashed the boards. It'll go off of Vic. 11 to 8. Here's the score. The Badgers holding a slim three point lead. The Badgers are coached by Bardo Dwyer, assisted by Kylie Samuels and Mike Campbell, first year coach. Coaching staff, that is. For high school, at least. Yes. Yeah. A lot of experience there, of course. Oh, yeah. Shino. Back out to Probe. She'll put it up from three. It cans it. Wow, that was a good shot. Battle tied up, 11 to 11. The Rams with some quality wins. Oh, bad pass by Hollenbach. Oh, it took a step there. That yeah. was number 11. Yeah, Book. Yeah. She got away with one, I think. As Shino will get the offense going over the walls on the far side. The Rams are in a zone, or the Badgers in a zone. Rebound wiped off the board there by Tatum. She'll bring it down to Linnebur. Linnebur will stop short. Pops it over to floor just inside the three-point line. No good. Rebound by Vic. She'll get it into, and she'll be called for travel as she tried to get it into Tatum on the block. So now we have a substitution. Um, as Vic's going to come out and rest here before the end of the quarter. Is that, um, oh gosh, West is in. Yeah, she came in, but then somebody else came in. Uh, oh, Kate. Yes, 20. Kate came in. Thank you. <laughs> Sheena will put it up, no good. Rebound it and off of the floor. Turn out to be a home, but he's mixed up today. I know. They both have ponytails, and this should be against the rules. There's Merton. She'll take a step inside the paint and puts it up, no good. Rebounded by Sheena. She puts it up, no good. Now Hollenbaugh will get it kicked away. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was off of Walzer, but they're going to call it off of Hollenbaugh for foot. So. Six turnovers unofficially for the Badgers this quarter. They need I'm sure they'd like to see that. Decrease. Yeah, definitely. Over in the corner, number 11. Book. Back to Book. Now she'll take a 15-footer short, and she will be called for the foul as she will try and go through West to scramble for the ball. That's the answer. It is 11 all, 8.3 seconds as we are in the first quarter here of the first of our two games tonight, four-game weekend, Strasburg tomorrow. And that would be a double dribble as Hollenbaugh. Key mistake there, unfortunately. She's had turnovers and steals. Yeah, oh, wow. she's trying to, you know, she's trying to even it out. Number 25, Coots, comes in. As Book's going to take a rest here before the end of the quarter. Oh, Shino gets it in, but over the head. Of number 31, Shino. So it should be white ball. And it is as Holland Ball will take it out of bounds. The Rams will retreat back into a half court. They only have three seconds. And there Open is the Kate. Kate puts it up and short. And Tatum with a rebound and puts it back. Unfortunately, not in time. So at the end of one, eight minutes coming up here in the second quarter, 11 to 11. We'll be back after these messages. You're listening to the NFHIS Network and ColoradoPreps.tv.
For our high school athletes, it's a time of transition, moving from fall sports to winter sports. And Equitable Savings transitions with them, continuing to support our high school sports broadcasts. Equitable Home Loans are made, funded, and serviced locally. And Equitable's mobile banking lets you do your banking from your smartphone globally. Equitable Savings. Since 1954, the same local ownership, the same commitment to our communities. Member FDIC deposits are FDIC insured to at least $250,000 in equal housing lender. All right, and we are back here live action beginning of the second quarter as we have an 11-11 count here. And quickly the Badgers down court. Bounded by Lenneberg. Lenneberg will get it out to West. Back to Lenneberg, and it'll go right through her hands. So I'm not sure what happened there. Mari over to Book. Now back to Book. She'll take a 20-footer, 15-footer, and cans it. So the Rams quick up in the second quarter, and looks like we'll have a timeout. It'll be a 30-second timeout, and we'll stay with it. And again, the coverage of the Colorado High School basketball season is provided in part by Hoffman Drug, Verizon, and Signal, Arby's of Lyman, Equitable Savings and Loan at Morgan Community College. You're listening to ColoradoPreps.tv. Stay tuned for later in the evening, a second doubleheader. We'll switch to the boys' stream here later as the Rams will take on the Badgers in boys' action tomorrow. At about 4 o'clock, we'll start with Strasburg and Lyman, both boys and girls. And timeout ended. Here come the Badgers. It'll be Lineberg bringing across half court. And long shot, no good as Florida puts up a three. Book with the rebound. She'll get it out to Mari. Mari will quickly bring it up across half court. Met by West. Over in the corner to Probst. And Mertens will take it baseline. And it will be foul on Florida. Is it Florida or was it Vic? No, it's going to be number 10. You're right. No, it's number 15. You're right. Okay, Florida. You're right. You're right. That'll be Carolyn's first. Yeah, 16 fouls right now for the Rams, three for the Badgers as, nice job there. That is Shino with the three. The Rams up 16 to 11 right now. Badgers looking for some offense. Florick over to Lineberg. Lineberg fakes out back top to Florick. Plus inside and again a throwaway and turnover is approaching double digits. Nine, we're almost there. Yep. Book in the corner. Back out to Shino. Nice job of swinging the ball around over to Mari. Badgers in his zone. Book cross court to Mari over the top. And I sure, I'm sure Coach Germer's going to say that is not a pass we want to really be making. Cross court. Passes are not a good thing. Okay, so we have some substitutions as Tatum comes back in and Hollenbaugh. And Hollenbaugh with the ball now to West. West with a wide open shot. Could have taken it. Hollenbaugh over to Lineber. Inside to Tatum. She'll take a step. Fakes, puts it up, and no good. And nice job of saving that ball by Book as she'll tap it into Mari. 16 to 11 if you just joined us. The Rams up on top. 5.30 to go here in the first half. Probst with the ball over to Book. In the corner to Mari. Nice flash by Mertens. And nice pass. Oh, couldn't fall, finish it. But there'll be a foul. And Probst will go to the line. Foul is on number 24. 
That is Lineber. That's her first, correct? Yes. Herbs misses her first free throw. We'll see how she does here on the second shot. Second one's up and no good. Rick Tatum with the rebound. Gets it out to Lineber. Lineber will set the offense. And again, a turnover as that ball hit the feet of Tatum. Nice job by Mari setting up the free throw line and Cannon it 18 to 11 right now. Rams up on top by seven. Tatum with a nice job. Oh, and a layup, miss. Nice execution there, but not a good finish. Lineber over to West. Nice pass though. And West cross court over to Tatum. Tatum will put it on the floor, put it up, and banks it in. The bank is open as my buddy Luke Meyer would used to say. 18 to 13, 420 to go. Over to Merton, or Probst. Badgers into a man now. Defense. Mari with the flash. Gets it inside to Book, and they're going to call a travel. Morgan Book, a senior at 5'9". I think the Badgers lucked out on that one because they did. she had a shot. It was a good pass. Could have been a foul. Nice job of Vic putting it up and scooping it up and in. 18 to 15. And Anna at Kiowa, you saw, just as I did, Seely Vic nearly single-handedly tried to bring him back from the brink of death. And there's a steal by Hollenbaugh. And a foul, as that'll put Hollenbaugh to the line. Mari with the foul. She has been playing very well today. Hollenbaugh? Yeah. Yes, I would agree. She, uh, you know, it's... Oh, and we'll have a full timeout. We'll go ahead and take a quick break. We'll be back. You are listening to Colorado High School Basketball on the NFHI, or NFHS Network and ColoradoPreps.tv. Double your savings on gift cards at Insignal, your local Verizon premium wireless retailer. Buy one $25 gift card and receive a $25 gift card free. Make your holiday gift giving easy this year. Save big during this limited time offer. Hurry in today, only at Insignal, your local Verizon premium wireless retailer. Let Insignal keep you connected during the holidays. Shop Insignal today in Lyman at 1144 Main Street. Minimum $10 purchase required. Gift cards cannot be redeemed the day of purchase. Other restrictions apply. See store for details. All right, back from a quick break, timeout. And Anna Weissensee has just informed me the Badgers are at 10 turnovers. Double figures, not good. It's less than they had last time. <laughs> but that's not a good thing. Still. Way to look for the positive. Yeah, Anna, you It are, is the last. You they had less, but there it always is positive to this. You are such an optimist, I love it. Do so you not look for the positive? Hey, class is half full. It's half full. It's usually pretty positive. I am. I Ball puts it up and in. So, guess what, folks? They're back. They're back. It's, it's 17 to 18. Badgers down by one. As Book will have it. Looks for Walzer top of the key. Puts it over to Mertens. Pops out on the side. Now to Probst, man-to-man -man defense by the Badgers. They've come out of that zone. As Book will put it up just outside the free throw line and it'll carome off of several people and end up in the Ram fans. To Walzer, now to Book. Over to Probst. Probst looking for somebody. Nice defense by Vic. Nearly a steal by Hollenbaugh. Walzer will take care of it out front. Bailey Walzer, one of the standouts on the Rams team, senior. 
as that will be booked from the free throw line, and that's automatic. 20 to 17, three point lead for the Rams as we head into for the break here, 2.33 to go. And a nice job, and unfortunately, the back door just wasn't quite there as Tatum tried to get it into Lineber, and the Rams will control it as Sheena will bring it across half court. Over to Book. Looking for a flash, and there is Probst. She'll put it on the floor. Wide open, left hand layup. Missed, and Tatum with a rebound. And Probst will be kicking herself there. Yeah, the Badgers lucked out again as she was wide open. And wide open is Shelby West, and she'll put it up and book with the rebound. No rim there. Minute 56 to go here before we head into halftime. Badgers down by three. Been a tight game. The Rams with quality wins over Haxton first week. And Flagler. Oh, Vic knocks that steal away into Tatum's hand. And there'll be a foul. That'll be Mertens with the foul on Tatum. Tatum with the miss, and she'll go to the line. Shooting two with a minute 33 to go. Rams with two quality wins over Haxton and Flagler with a loss to Shine Wells. The Badgers with a win over Bennett and losses to the Academy and to Kiowa. And there's the first one up and good. 20 to 18, sorry, Andrea. I ran right over you. No, that's fine. I was just going to say that was her second foul. You're just used to me talking right so over you. So, Card came in. She didn't pay attention to that, did she? I'm nope. Just ignoring you. Maggie yeah. Lindeberg also checked in. Yeah, Veronica Card, a sophomore six footer. Good sized girl. As Seely Vick will go in, and it's rejected by Card as she asserts her size immediately. Holland Ball will inbound it as it will go into Tatum. Tatum pops it back out to Lineber. That is Maggie Lineber. Now to Kelly Lineber. And that'll be off of Mertens. Badgers with another shot to tie it up here. And nice job and a nice give and go there to Vic and Holland Ball. Tie score here as we did Vic, did Vic score? Yes, yes she did on a did. nice layup. Nice assist by Holland Ball. As Sheena will have a steal. That's Kelly Lineber with a wide open right hander layup. Should go in and miss it. Holland Ball with a rebound. And it'll be Tatum finally with the control. Puts it off off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Book. Book will control it for the Rams. And here comes Sheena down to Walzer. Walzer will hold it up for a second. Nope, she'll turn and shoot. And she'll get her own rebound as Tatum wasn't quite able to get there. And it will be out of bounds as Tatum forced her off the baseline. And 38 seconds to go here. Holland Ball, the Badger ball handler. Lineber on the side gets it over to Vic. 28 seconds. They just need to take their time. Fight for the last shot here. Inside to Tatum, nice turnaround and up and in. Credit Hollenbaugh for the assist. A turn and a quick score for Tatum. 22 to 20, and the Rams now down by two. That's the first Badger lead we've had in the second quarter, I believe. Yeah, I think it is. Mertens with a nice give and go and a push from behind as Walzer will go down. And it'll be Maggie Lineber, I think, on the... And that is Maggie's first first. So 4.4 seconds to go here. Bad, or the Rams with the last shot. Walzer for three, puts it up, and good! And the Rams will go into halftime with a one point lead. Nice job. Three pointer by Walzer. Wow, she just canned that, didn't she? And she did. All right, we'll go ahead and take a quick break. It is halftime here in Lyman, Colorado. We'll be back with scores and more after these messages, you're listening to the NFHS, I want to say something different, NFHS Network and CollardPreps.tv.
Got a penny? Yes, a penny can buy you a new phone at Insignal during their Black Friday bash. Choose from select 3G or 4G Android phones for just a penny at Insignal, your local Verizon premium wireless retailer. Or save $100 off your purchase of other select 4G Android phones. One day only on Black Friday, November 29th at Insignal, your local Verizon premium wireless retailer. Shop Insignal today in Lyman at 1144 Main Street. To your activation required, some restrictions apply. Selection may vary at each there's nothing like the smoky, wood-burning flavors of slow cooking. And now Arby's has the perfect smokehouse taste that you crave. The new smokehouse brisket sandwich features thinly sliced beef brisket that has been smoked for at least 13 hours. Melted smoked Gouda cheese, crispy onions, and smoky barbecue sauce and mayo served on a toasted star top bun. Come to Arby's at 2221 West 6th Street to try it today. Arby's slicing up freshness. Want to raise money for your nonprofit group or sports team and score tickets to a Broncos game? From now through December, every time your organization hosts a fundraising event at an Arby's in Colorado or Wyoming, your group will be put into a drawing to win a set of club level Broncos tickets and pregame field passes. Head over to our Lyman location at 2221 West 6th Street today for more information. Arby's, where great food gives back. All right, welcome back to Lyman High School and Lyman, Colorado is... Uh as always, at the halftime of the girls' ball game, we have Coach Dirk Peterson, head coach of the Lyman boys basketball team. Coach, three and one, heading into tonight's contest. As uh, Marino has had a uh, pretty good run, I looked at their record. They're really starting to rebuild back and, and seem to have a pretty good group of kids ready to set to play tonight. Yeah, you know they've done a nice job. Uh, their coaches uh, brought them along the last couple years, and you know they're they're. Uh, Starters are very talented, and, you know, they've been doing a, a good job of uh, getting out and running and transition, and and uh, we'll have our hands full tonight. Yeah, number, uh, speaking of hands full, I think it is the Fiscus kid that uh, is averaging about 20 a game, I believe. So he's going to, Connor Fiscus, I believe is his name. Um, talk about uh, Connor, how you'll attack him. I mean, obviously a, a pretty good player. Yes, he's you know, he's a good player. He's a good point guard. He can, uh, you know, go left or right. Uh, plus, he can shoot the ball extremely well. Uh, we're going to we're going to give him the Luke Meyer treatment tonight, and and, uh, <laughs> and now, you know, now let's, hopefully let's back uh, up a second. What's the Luke Meyer treatment? Well, we're gonna we're gonna tell Luke to to do what he can to keep him in front and have our other guys ready to help. But you know, he's he's kind of the key that to their offense. And you know, if he gets going early, then everybody you know feeds off of that. So we're gonna have to do a good job of of just slowing him down. He's gonna get his points because he's a good player. So we just gotta do what we can to. Uh, to neutralize them as best we can. You know, as you uh, have gone through the season here, four games into the season, are you pretty well set on your lineup, or do you think you're going to change it up a little bit, or how do you think you'll look at tonight's uh, starting lineup? Well, we'll start the same way we have, uh, you know, with uh, Gavin and Luke and Grant, uh, Kerrigan and Cody, and then, you know, it's 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 ever-changing. You, know, you know, we've had some kids in practice this week that have, that have played pretty well and, uh, you know, continue to work hard, so... You know, our bench is, you know, Tristan will come off early and, you know, he's been playing well. And, and then after that with Matthew and Bo and, and Tyler Bandy. So, you know, it's, we got a mix in there and, you know, their job is to come in and give us a spark and, and uh, not, you know, just kind of keep up, keep up what the starters did. We talked about uh, last couple times that we've had you on. You know, after you have that starting five, or actually, you know, maybe two or three deep into that starting lineup, when you pull somebody off the bench, you've got you've got a strong group of kids that I mean, no matter who you put in, you're not going to have a lot of drop off as far as you know when you interchange those kids. Uh, do, you, do you think that's the, the a, a true statement? Yeah, you know, I think the kids we bring off the bench, you know, there's there's not going to be a huge drop off, you know, talent wise or what they can do on the floor. You know, last year we were pretty strong with our six and seven guys, and there was a pretty big break. And this year. You know, even going, you know, with Christian Martinez as our 10th guy, and then, you know, we could suit up some JV guys, 
that like we will after break and there's not a lot of difference between those guys and and, and some of our starters so you know our, our bench is a little deeper and and that's good because we can you know foul trouble isn't going to be as effective this year unless it's Gavin or Luke that gets gets in foul trouble so you know our bench has been playing well and you know they keep working hard we're going to be okay you know as uh, they've come out of football do you uh, see and I guess that's a real disadvantage for you as the coach uh, especially of the Badgers, uh, you know, they usually go pretty deep in the playoffs. Uh, you've been pretty challenged, I guess, over the last few years of trying to get these kids out of that football mindset into the basketball mindset. Do you think you're there with these guys? Well, you know, I, I think it's great that our football team does, does what it does and goes deep into the playoffs every year. And, you know, winning breeds r winning. And you I, know, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, I, we've had years where we've had four days of practice before our first game. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's, I, I think, you know, I kind of want them to have that football mentality anyway because, you know, we need to play physical and we need to get after it on the boards and on a defensive end. And, you know, and, and Marino's in the same boat. You know, their football team is usually pretty good. But, you know, we you know, we've, we went in with a couple weeks of practice this year and the first team we played, the academy, had three and a half weeks and there wasn't right. much difference in, in what everybody was doing. So, you know, our kids are used to it and they just go from one to the next and, and, you know, I think, I think it's good to have a little bit of a football mentality on the basketball floor. I agree, and I think you hit it right on the head. You know, I think winning breeds winning, and that mentality, that, that, that winning in that football season carries over to your basketball season. Uh, I think that's one of the things that will make this season uh, pretty successful, I think, is, is that striving to, uh, you know, reach that goal. They, they're winners, and they want to continue to win, and I think that's going to work in your favor, Coach. I do too. You know, they're they're very competitive, and you know, even in practice, you know, we keep we keep score a lot of what we do, and and losers have to do something. You know, you know, if, if they if if they don't win the battle, so you know, we we try to make everything we do competitive, just to uh, keep in that mindset. And and when you got a kid like Gavin who you know will, will give his left arm not to lose a game, yeah. that that helps because he, you know, the kids he brings it out in the other kids, and you know, we we got a very competitive group. All right, Coach, we're going to let you go. Coach Peterson, good luck tonight as uh, we take on the Marina Rams. We'll talk to you probably tomorrow. All right, sounds good. Thanks, All right, good Tim. luck. Thank you. All right, as always, Coach Dirk Peterson, uh, always a good interview. And we do have stats. And Anna? All right. Do you want to uh, – let's put Andrea on the phone or on the uh, headsets too. I, I'm going to see, see how far you guys are off apart. We've actually had manual stats versus – the well, iPad and, stats. And I goofed. I had to go down to the official book because <gasps> I gave a basket to number 24 you instead cheated. of a foul. That's a cheat. So I don't know. Do you have baskets, Anna? Um, do you have points? Yeah, I do. How many do you have for Katura Tatum? Nine. Okay, good. That's what I have. I have nine for Katura, six for Seely Vic, four for Hollenbaugh, and three for Florick. Do we match? I have one for Florek and two for Lineber. Yes. The Lineber one's the one we made a mistake. That was the one we didn't see, and then they called a foul, and I asked the scorekeeper from Marino about that, and she says, well, I gave Lineber the basket, too, and I was supposed to give her a foul because it was on 24, so Lineber actually doesn't have any baskets. I she thought doesn't. She yeah. That's why I just went down and checked the books. Oh. Huh. I did. Well, there you go. And then... For Marino, uh, leading scorer there is Walzer as she's hit two of those three pointers. And look. no, I'm. Are you sure on that on Kelly? <laughs> I, I swear. That was the, like the very first shot we thought we missed. I don't know. That's what Wendy's book and the other gal from Marino's book showed. All right. In any event, we've got live action here. And Katura just added two, so now her total goes to 11. So the score right now. You just joined us, 23 to 22 at halftime, but with Tatum's basket puts the Ram or the Badgers up by two or by one, 24-23, and the Rams trying to get it inside there to book and nice job there by West as she tries to steal it. Walzer with three and got it. So that's her third three pointer now. Walzer with a dead eye. As the Badgers will have it. Holland off with, oh, and inside to Tatum. And that's one that uh, Seely probably could have popped from the free throw line and been okay to do that. 
And a steal coming back the other way. Holland ball, left hand lip. Here it comes. Up and missed, and she'll get her own rebound and will be fouled by Walter. Holland ball to the line. I believe that's Walter's second foul. Starts off Marino's first team foul. Shelby West down there with a good hustle and steal as they were laying on top of her right before that. <laughs> she always is on the ground. She makes me take a brief, deep breath very often. She does. And I think, I hope, hopefully her uh, grandpa and grandma are listening to that. As second one's up, no good. 26-24, Benton Rams on top. As it'll be controlled by Mari for the Rams. Long pass down to, Mer to uh, Probst. She'll put it on the floor, kick it back out to Mertens. Mertens back out to Walzer, top of the key. And shot up no good as rebounded by Hollenbaugh. She'll control it, guarded by Mari. And in the corner to West, and she should have just popped it. Lenneber for three, no good. And Katera Tatum with the putback. Tie ball game. And Mari done it. Just a quick note, Rachel Mari did a great job of blocking out on Lineber. She had her hands all over uh, behind her. <laughs> well, just, you know, that too she many... She wasn't touching her. She was just blocking out. Yeah, too many times it's, uh, you, you know, you just don't see that, and you need to see that. 24 yeah. with the shot there. Vic. Yes. Vic and... Yeah, Vic and... Uh, are both. tied up. And I would not want to be tied up with... Either one of them. Either one of them. No way. I know... That should be White Ball, I think, if I, I have it correct. Yeah, it is. I know Miss Mertens' is father, and you don't want to screw with him either. <laughs> Mark is a good guy. As it be Floyd bringing it up over to the side to Vic. Rams in a, oh, and Lineber puts it up and nice good. shot. And almost was going to criticize her there for Not faking the, the pass ball. in. As here comes Walzer, Walzer will bring it up, and this guard can really move it very quick. As she's trapped in the corner, does a good job of getting out of it. Mari now trapped, and over to Mertens. Mertens will get it inside to Probst, and Tatum did a good job of guarding. Yeah, she's getting a hand on that. And, you know, that's frustrating when you You've got that pass coming to you, and you know you're going to get it, and your defender keeps batting it out of the way. Exactly. That plays a little mind games with you. It's frustrating. And it'll be Probst out to book. Mertens far side. She'll get it back out to Walter, who will clear it. And there will be a foul as Floric will be called. She took a hit to the chops, too. So that'll be Carolyn's second foul. Lyman's first team foul this quarter. Shelby West is going to come out and rest us. Number 25, Riley Anderson checks in. Walzer with the inbound pass. Oh, tipped by Riley Anderson. Riley, well, a sophomore, sorry, 5'4". Walzer has always been fast. I remember watching her when she was like, I got to remember. Either the freshman or a sophomore. She has always been. Yeah, she fast. is. She's, she's a junior, and I think I said she was a senior. So it must have been when she was a freshman when I watched her, and she was still, I mean, faster than ever. And a turnover again by the Badgers. Yeah, Ford with a steal, but then just the bad pass down. Do you have 11 on their turnovers or 12? From halftime? Well, no, I just had, overall. I had right a, now. I had 11 in the first half and one this half. So okay. Oh. Yeah, I think I had 12 too. Hey, that's good. Yeah. Walzer setting it up here as. Oh my goodness. And they're going to call a five second. And Coach Dermer, I think, has possibly a good argument. That didn't seem like five seconds to me, but. Well, it it might have might have been. been. Might have been five, but he was just arguing that he was engaged. She was engaging True. and trying to uh, pass it off, and he's not going to win that argument, unfortunately. Well, in the no. meantime, Maggie Lindner 
is inbound. How, how is that again? Maggie Lineber is inbounding the ball. She just checked in. Florick couldn't handle the pass. It'll be Riley Anderson with the two. As she took the errant pass and was able to put it up and get it in. Oh, wide open book. Puts it up and no good. And it'll be a foul on Tatum as Tatum was not not going to let Book score easily, and Book just rocked enough to miss it. It's Contreras' first foul. 30 to 26, Badgers up by four. Four minutes and 13 seconds to go here. Third quarter as Book will put it up and in. Three-point game now. Chance to make it two as we'll have substitutions galore here. I would have not made that sub having both of them out. Is it there? Oh, yeah. God, no. And Book will put it up again and score it 30 to 28. Seven. And a timeout will be taken. Score here is 38 to 30 to 28. It's a 30 second timeout. We'll stay with it. And who, uh, Reyes came in, number five, subbed, and who else? Uh, Meyer. Sarah Meyer. Yes. Okay. She's number 22. One so does Kelly have two fouls in or just one? One foul, but no basket. Was well, that Carolyn with the basket then? The basket we missed had to be Katura because I was well, short well, on Well, Katura. while you guys argue that, coverage of the Colorado High School basketball season is provided in part by Hoffman Drug, and Verizon and Signal, Arby's Alignment, Equitable Savings and Loan, and Morgan Community College. And we're back in action as the Badgers will have it. Badgers in their white home uniforms on your screen. Floor. Shoot it. She almost traveled. Gets it over to Anderson. Oh, nearly a steal by Mari. And it'll be Florek over to Anderson now. Inside to Reyes. And nice. Reyes puts it up and scores. Nice move. Nice look by Anderson. A good ball movement on that offensive set there. As Mari will be challenged by Riley Anderson. Out to that Chino. Was huh? Oh, I'm sorry. They look alike. They both got the pony dark hair, ponytails. Yeah, I that's know. that ponytail deal again. I don't know. It'll be out to Mari. Mari will take nice a step move. in. Yeah, nice move. And there's going to be a foul. I think one got kicked in the eye. Ouch. And Chino up and okay, but I think Mari's looking a little but they'll go ahead and inbound it. It'll be Rams ball. That was Lineber on the foul. Maggie Lineber's second foul. Oh, and Walzer's shot no good. Didn't hit the rim. And, boy, there's some physicality going on in the middle there. And somehow Sarah Meyer comes away with it. I don't know how, but took it away from Mertens. And now quick pass to Lineber. Now to Florick. No good. Rebound. Lineber. Maggie puts it up. No good. Rebound by Walzer, not Walzer, I'm sorry. Chino, I believe. Over to Mari. Mari, inside wide open to Mertens. She'll put it up and off the backboard. Reyes with the rebound. It'll be one on two, and she will take it in, and it'll be, oh, they're going to call a offensive foul, and that's a good call because definitely had the defensive person had that lane established yeah she knows how to take a charge she does this summer she ended up getting a concussion while taking a charge oh my goodness so, so it'll be rams ball as nice job by floric really seeing some good things with floric tonight she's a hustling yeah so what's the deal with the mix match um, I have no idea. Steal there by yeah. Mari. They all decided that I think the first day of practice was. Okay. Only a few of them do it, though. There's like, I think, maybe six girls that do it. So there's three pairs in this match too. Maggie oh. and Carolyn. I think Kelly and JC may have do it. I don't know. They got to wear the same size. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Meyer had a chance to get that ball. And it went right overhead. Oh. Mario put it up for two. Brings it to within two points as that will make it 32-30. to 30. 
Rams down by two. Lineber inside to Riley or outside to Riley Anderson. Inside was that Meyer. Meyer. Yes. Sarah Meyer makes it a four-point ball game for the Badgers. 34-32. Quicken down to about two minutes to go here in the third. Oh, nice wide pass. Open. And up and in, Probst. And folks, we may be coming to extra periods if it keeps on like this. Who, whose pass was that? I didn't catch that. Inside, it'll be tipped away, and the Badgers will lose it, and Mari will pick it up for the Rams. Coach Dermer asking him to get down the floor, and Reyes with a nice tip away. She'll get it out to Anderson. Anderson will get it to Florek, and left-handed layup, yep, and in. Nicely done and executed by the Badgers. Riley Anderson with three assists, just one right after another here. And Chino with the 15-footer, no good, rebounded by Probst, and it'll be foul on Reyes as Probst will go to the line. Reyes second foul. 36-32, a minute 12 to go in the third. So that's five team fouls for the Badgers. As Probst gets ready to shoot the free throw. And first one up is no good. And we'll have a line change here. Card comes in for the Rams. And we've got West, Vic, Tatum, and the other Lineber, Kelly, back in. We're going to call that the second line if uh, you're into hockey. Second line change, sorry. You just got to know hockey. All right, All right folks. Okay. Yeah, I don't know it either. It just sounded good. 36-33 as folks put it up. Made one. Minute seven to go. Batters will have it. Over to Shelby <coughs> West. No good. And Vic fights for the rebound. Got it. And she'll walk as she hopped. So with 57 seconds to go here in the third, 36-33, batters up on top by three. Full court pressure obviously put on by the Badgers. Mari will get it into Sheena. Sheena will bring it up across half court. She'll be picked up by Hollenbaugh. 50 seconds to go. Sheena over to Probst. Probst will look, put it on the floor. And West will hit the floor. And long three-pointer! Got it! Tie ball game! 36-36. Walzer with her fourth three-pointer of the game, I believe. That and now Hollenbaugh puts it up and got it! Put him back and forth here. 39-36 with Hollenbaugh with a three. She is doing extremely well with those three-pointers. She is. And that is going to be a walk as Mert or Probst lost her balance and took an extra step with 19 seconds to go. The Badgers with a chance to Strengthen out this three-point lead, 16 seconds. Lineber now to Hollenbaugh in the corner to West. West will get it inside to Vic. Pops it back out to Hollenbaugh with a nice move inside to Tatum. Back out to Lineber. Lineber at the free throw line. Pops it over to West. West will put it up. No good. Tatum with the rebound. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. The Badgers up by three. We'll go ahead and take a quick break and be back after these messages. You're listening to the NFHS Network. Let's go. The following is an interview with a real high school student currently enrolled at Morgan Community College. For me, it's been a huge relief, but challenging as well. It makes it so that when I get into a college that I already have my general credits, I can go into something knowing that I've already taken this, I can go further. And I will talk to admissions representatives and I'll say, well, I will be graduating high school with this 65 college credits. They look at me like I'm crazy. I'm ready to move forward, and I guess it's been it's been easier, I think, being able to see myself in college thanks to having had college classes. I feel totally prepared, and I really feel like I'll be able to 
once I get into wherever I decide to go, I feel like I'll be able to just start. I won't have very many questions. I'll just be able to go. To get a jump start on your college career, log on to morgancc.edu or drop by their Lyman office at 942nd Street. All right, back here live action as play has started here as we're seven minutes and 38 seconds away from the end of the game here as the Badgers right now hold a three-point advantage as Holland Ball will bring it up for the Badgers. Over to Lineber inside to Vic. Vic will put it up, tries to put it into Tatum, and by golly, it did work. I didn't think that pass was going to get in there, but it did, 41-36. Katura scored that? Yes, she did. Yes. He did. Okay. And Probst will put the ball on the floor and be trapped. Gets it over to Mari, and there's some folks in the stands thinking that that was double dribble. Don't think it was. Off of a Badger and out of bounds. And Coach O'Dwyer going to have a... <laughs> Chit chat with Chit -chat. the rep. Oh, yep. He called timeout. He did. It'll be a 30 second timeout, but he did have a little chit chat. I think he wanted to call timeout. Now he went over there. He I think, the air I, I think you are correct. <laughs> All at the same time. <laughs> okay, so do you have Tatum with 15 points? Now I do, yes, because she just scored here in the fourth quarter. And Vic? I, I have Vic with six, and I have um, Kelly Lineber with two. Okay, you have Florek with three? Yes, ma'am, I do. Meyer with two? Yes. Maggie Lenebro with three? No, I don't have her with any, but I have Riley Anderson with two. I have Riley with two, yeah. You have Hollenbaugh, Mitt? Seven for Hollenbaugh. And actually, yes. Did, uh, I, did I give it to Lenebro when I meant to give it to Hollenbaugh? That's, that's what I meant to do. She <laughs> has seven. All right. These numbers are messed up. <laughs> 6.56 to go here as the Rams had a turnover walk. Tatum, nice job inside, and Vic, I think, with the assist. Yes, that was Vic. And Tatum's starting to take over right now. That did not look very comfortable for Shelby there. <laughs> I and think not, her knee popped out. Oh. It looked like it popped out. Yeah, she and she hurt. is hurt. And there's going to be a foul called on one of the Badgers as Shelby's knee, Shelby West, will be replaced by Maggie Lenever. And it'll be Book going to the line, shooting two. And that is J.C. Holmba's second foul tonight. Up and good is Book. 43-37. Don't forget, immediately following this game, we'll have the boys action as the Rams will take on the Badgers. And boys action as Vic with the rebound off the miss. Oh, and that is gonna be a charge as that is Seely Vic not showing a lot of body control there as she wanted to pass off, I think, and so wasn't able to do it. That's her second. Yes, it is. Team seventh, Val. She no I oh. didn't jinx her. Tina will get it into Mari. Mari will get it across half court, and it'll be a carry uh, before she ran into Vic. And a timeout will be taken by Coach Dermer for the Rams. And it is a full timeout. We'll go ahead and take a timeout. Also, you're listening to the NFHS Network and ColoradoPreps.tv. Want to raise money for your nonprofit group or sports team and score tickets to a Broncos game? From now through December, every time your organization hosts a fundraising event at an Arby's in Colorado or Wyoming, your group will be put into a drawing to win a set of club level Broncos tickets and pregame field passes. Head over to our Lyman location at 2221 West 6th Street today for more information. Arby's, where great food gives back. 
Want to raise money for your nonprofit group or sports team and score? All right, we're back to live action here at Lyman High School. 6-12 to go as the Badgers will have it after the timeout. Hollenbaugh, long three, no good. And nice job by Vic, who passes it back in over her head and a score, 45-37. Is that an assist for Vic? I yes, would call it. it. Is. <laughs> Unintentional, but it was. Hey, it works. So the Badgers right now with a one of the largest leads of the game, eight points. And oh, they're going to call Vic. Call Vic. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how that is a block, though. You're standing right there when the ball is Yeah, yeah. It, it should have been more of a body than a block. I don't know. I mean, it, well, the girl reached around her, and you can't. Yeah. And I, I see several people disagreeing with that, and I think it's probably possible. Mari at the line. First one's up, and got it. So back down to a seven-point lead, 45-38. Second one's up, and no good. Rebounded out to Vic, and she'll put it on the floor and bring it up the court. Passes three Rams. Now it's got the, yep, good call as uh, she tried to go around. I think it was. Chino. Yeah, Chino, number 31, and Chino not able to get quite in the pass, nor would she probably want it to be in the pass. No, 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 not, not with Seeley. Anybody that knows Seeley Vic knows that she's a tough cookie. Kelly Lindenberg puts it down on the floor, gets it back. Oh, nearly got it stolen by Mari. Back to Lindenberg, back over to Lindenberg. And a timeout called by Coach O'Dwyer. We'll take a quick break. It is a third, it is a... 60 second timeout. We'll be back after these messages. You're listening to the NFHS Network and ColoradoPreps.tv. Double your savings on gift cards at Insignal, your local Verizon premium wireless retailer. Buy one $25 gift card and receive a $25 gift card free. Make your holiday gift giving easy this year. Save big during this limited time offer. Hurry in today. Only at Insignal, your local Verizon premium wireless retailer. Let Insignal keep you connected during the holidays. Shop Insignal today in Lyman at 1144 Main Street. Minimum $10 purchase required. Gift cards cannot be redeemed the day of purchase. Other restrictions apply. See store for details. Double your savings on gift cards at Insignal, your local Verizon premium wireless retailer. Buy one $25 gift card and receive a $25 gift card free. Make your holiday gift giving easy this year. Save big during this limited time offer. Hurry in today. Only at Insignal, your local Verizon premium wireless retailer. Let Insignal keep... All right, back to live action here with the score right now, 45-38. Badgers up on top by 7 5.22 to go here. As Holland Ball will put it into Tatum. She'll put it on the floor and put it up and make it look easy. Tatum getting very comfortable inside there. She's had four buckets here right in a row in the fourth quarter. Good job by Maggie Lineberg. Nearly got it stolen as that's going to be a walk. Yep. Yeah. Even I saw that. Peyton's coming in for Maggie Lineberg. Holland Ball will get it inside to Vic. Full court pressure by the Rams, of course. Gets it over to Lineberg. Holland Ball is going to be fouled by Book. Getting a pretty tight foul. Not sure that. I don't know. Third foul for her and third team foul for Marino. Marino, less fouls this half, but more turnovers. And kind of the opposite to the bat. Well, sort of. Holland ball up for three. Got it. And the batters look like they are in a roll, in a groove. 50 to 38. 12-point lead right now. They need that lead, though. They do, as oh, Kayton. that's Kayton as she's down. She went down on a knee or an ankle. I'm not sure which. Ah. Uh, Maybe both, because she twisted in the JV game. I know she twisted her back really hard, and I'm thinking it's an ankle. As it'll be 
Riley Anderson who will come in. Caton will be helped off the floor here. As oh, that makes me fun. Yep. Rams will have it inbounds underneath their own basket. As they'll try and get it into Walter, and she's guarded very nicely. You get it inside the book and a push. Hard push. I think by Tatum. Sure, a second foul. As Book will go to the line. And Book's first one up is good. Cuts it to a 11 point deficit with 424 to go here in the game. Badgers up by 11. Now up by 10 as they cut the deficit to 10. And full court pressure by the Rams. Get it over to Anderson across oh, half court. Oh, it's wide, open. wide open. And that is going to be not a continue. That is not an NBA type continuation as Katera Tatum was fouled and did a nice job following through. But unfortunately, in high school basketball, you don't quite get that kind of continuation. So that'll be Probst's first foul. Inside to Vic. Vic will put it on the floor and lose it. And Mari with the wide open layup will put it up and in. Nice job. Eight point lead. Cut from 12. It's coming back. Yep. And nice job. Wide open. Up and oh, missed. And Tatum gets her own rebound. Puts it up and in. Vic with the assist. Well, actually, not an assist as Tatum missed the first shot there. Sorry. So back to a 10 point lead. 52-42. 22 points for Tatum, unofficially. Walzer. Badgers in a man-to-man. -man. And Probst picks up the ball, gets it out, and loses it. Tatum with the rebound, gets it out to Hollenball. Hollenball will try to go around Book, and Book will foul. And that will not quite put the Rams or the uh, Badgers into the bonus. As, yeah, I was going to say, that's Book's fourth. Yep. Probably and not a good idea if she fouls again. Probably not. Out will come Probst. In will go Mertens. Riley Anderson. Oh, and a good look as Riley looked like she was going to shoot a three. Saw Hollenball step in bounds, and I don't think Hollenball was ready for that one. Good look as uh, impressed by Riley. As a sophomore. And it'll be Mari over to Walzer now. And nearly a steal, and it will be off of Shino's. Uh, thought that was off of. No, well, maybe not. Thought it was touched. Maybe it was because JC's fingers are a little jammed. Gotcha. Hollenball. Inside to Tatum. Tatum with a nice turnaround. Puts it up, and they're going to call Book. That's her fifth. Yes, sir. Are is. you serious? Oh, my goodness. That is kind of funny, actually. Because they had two girls in the JV game foul out back to back. So Book will foul out. If she doesn't get into tears first. Yeah. And in will go Merck or Probst. Do they have any other girls in foul trouble? Uh, Mari. Book and Mari Where's have three. So Morgan Book will... Who else has three? Mari. Yeah, Mari has three. And who else? Book. Just fouled out. Yeah. Um, that's it. That's that's Tatum's first one up and good. Make it an 11-point game again. In will come Florick. Out will come Lineberg. Much different team for the Badgers than I saw the other night at Kiowa. They need this win, though. They do. I mean, they, they were lacking some confidence. Up and good for the second one. This puts a lot of confidence in Katura, I think. Well, it does. I mean, this is 20-some points. Oh, nice job, Steele. And up by Hollenbaugh. No good. She'll get her own rebound as the Rams can't control it. And inside to Tatum. Tatum will turn and put it up and got it! And it'll be foul. No, one and one as they are going to call a foul on Walzer. That's her third. 
Did the basket count? No, because no. JC okay. was fouled. Yeah. I think she got poked in the eye. Poked in the eye? Yeah. I, I accidentally do that a lot to people. You do it on purpose. No, I don't. You don't understand. I don't do it. I put my fingers <laughs> out and they run into me, and it's not my fault. As Hollenbach puts up her first one and got it, and Anna Wines. Well, it's the truth. Second one's up and good. So 56 42. I'll tell you what, this is going to send a statement to some teams out there. Ooh, they're getting five seconds. Wow. Marino's kind of falling apart down here. Yeah. 12 it's turnovers. Unfortunate. And of course, um, officially, of course. Ooh, Floric for. I was going to say, if Floric made that, that would make for Mike. Three. So it'll be Sheena bringing across half court. Two minutes and 45 seconds to go here in the game as Walzer will pop it out top to Mari. Badgers are, you know, in man to man. There's Sheena top of the free throw line. Dribble puts it up, no good. Rebound by Tatum for the Badgers. Tatum will get it out to Holland Ball. Holland Ball across half court. She'll feed it down to Tatum, or I'm sorry, Anderson, who tried to feed it into Tatum just a tad bit too high as Mari will control it for the Rams. Now Walzer in the corner. She'll try to take a baseline. It'll be a foul on Florida as tough to guard Walzer as she's got great speed. This Ram team has three seniors, Book, Shino, and Mertens. You would think that um, Walzer would be a senior. I know, just I by just, the way she looks. I know. She's very confident, very good player. As she puts it up and in. She's going, I am pretty sure she, uh, pretty good athlete. Yeah. 56-43, 13-point difference, 2 minutes and 11 seconds to go here. Up and good is, or no, no good. Rebounded by Vic as she'll get it to Holland Ball. Holland Ball will control it down the floor. Now, oh, a uh, Vic. And this is where you've got to start using your head, folks. Grabbing the ball. Yep. Okay, we've got all kinds of subs coming in. Yep. Everyone except JC. <laughs> Myers in, to do it. Reyes in, uh, uh, Linnever in. Oh, wait, wait, maybe. Did they? No, home ball comes out now. Oh, everyone except Carolyn. Carolyn Ford stays in. And, oh, my goodness. And I think Meyer had a an assignment there that she was not quite in the right position. And a timeout. Full timeout. It, it will be a full one. We'll go ahead and take a quick break. Score here is 56-45. You're listening to the NFHS and ColoradoPreps.tv network. Our coverage of Lyman Badger Sports is brought to you with the support of Equitable Savings. Since 1954, Equitable has helped finance the dreams of many local homeowners. Equitable home loans are made, funded, and serviced locally. And with mobile banking, your checking account goes wherever you go. Borrow locally, bank globally at Equitable Savings. Since 1954, the same local ownership, the same commitment to our communities. Member FDIC deposits FDIC insured to at least $250,000 in equal housing lender. Our coverage of Lyman Badgers. All right, we're back to live action. A minute 56 to go here in the game as the Badgers are up on top by 11, 56-45. I think and he's putting pretty much that group back in now. Yeah, it'll be Vic, Tatum, Anderson, Hollenbaugh, and Lineber back in. And Riley stays. There you go. Minute 50 to go, 56-45. Rams will have it inbounds, and high pass as Mari was able to catch it. Oh, and a wide open Mertens, but just over her head as Mari tried to get it into a streaking Mertens, or Probst, I mean. Now full court pressure is zoned by the Rams. As the Badgers will try and get it in bounds. Holland Ball will advance now to Vic. Back to Holland Ball. 
into the middle of Lenaber. Lenaber just needs to take it easy, and she gets it into Tatum. Tatum somehow puts it up and really flat shot, but it went in somehow. 58-43. Here come the Rams. Minute 21. Mari over to Mertens. Mertens will take a step past Tatum. Puts it up. No good. And it'll be Shino putting it up and fouled by Lineber, Kelly Lineber. She'll shoot to Shino from the line. Kelly's second foul. The Badgers haven't been really in much foul trouble lately. No, they have. That's a good thing. Coverage of the Colorado High School basketball season is provided in part by Hoffman Drug, Bryce and Sickle, Arby's of Lyman, Equitable Savings on the Own, and Morgan Community College as Chino puts it up and in. Second one's up and got it. So 58-47, 11 point lead for the Badgers again. Now Vic will bring it down. Over to Hollenbaugh, now down to Anderson. Oh, Tatum was open. Gets it into Tatum from Vic. Vic will put it, or Tatum will put it up, no good. And the Rams will control the rebound. Chino barely gets it out to Mari as the ball was tipped. Walzer puts it up for three, no good. Rebound Tatum, she'll bring it down, gets it over to Lineber. Lineber loses the ball, picks it up, gets it into Tatum, nearly, oh, it is stolen by Mari, nice job, as she came over the top. Oh, Mari can't control it. Now we've got a tie-up between the two 24s, Lineber and Mari, and it'll be jump ball. Possession will go to the Badgers. In will come. Meyer, Lineber, Reyes, and Floyd. Out will come Tatum, Vic, Kelly Lineber. Everyone and except Riley. There you go. That's what I should just say, huh? Out comes everyone except Riley. Floric will get it over to a couple people. Actually ended up in Myers' hands, and that was nearly a walk by Anderson. She'll get it over to Maggie Lineber. Maggie Lineber gets it over to Anderson. Meyer with the feed to Reyes. It'll be Reyes at the line shooting two. The first hit, the first second. 18 8. 18.8 seconds to go. There's Reyes, his first one up and got it. Second one on the way. Got it also. So nice job at the free throw line for Miss Reyes. Celic Vic's goal has been accomplished. And what is that? To get a 60 point game. Like to get 60 points within the first six games. So it was accomplished. Nice job of Riley Anderson stepping into the steal and a nice point out output tonight. That was Celie's goal. Is she's like, usually we get 60 points by the end of the season. Let's try and get it towards the beginning this year. Well, and they really need to not take it off a notch, uh, a notch on uh, oh. offense. And that'll be the ball game as the Badgers defeat the Rams 60 to 47. We'll go ahead and take a quick break. We'll be back with the final stats after these messages. You're listening to the NFHS Network and ColoradoPreps.tv. told you and it don't matter if you don't believe come Sunday morning you best be Double your savings on gift cards at Insignal, your local Verizon premium wireless retailer. Buy one $25 gift card and receive a $25 gift card free. Make your holiday gift giving easy this year. Save big during this limited time offer. Hurry in today, only at Insignal, your local Verizon premium wireless retailer. Let Insignal keep you connected during the holidays. Shop Insignal today in Lyman at 1144 Main Street. 
Minimum $10 purchase required. Gift cards cannot be redeemed the day of purchase. Other restrictions apply. See store for details. Got a penny? Yes, a penny can buy you a new phone at InSignal during their Black Friday bash. Choose from select 3G or 4G Android phones for just a penny at InSignal, your local Verizon premium wireless retailer. Or save $100 off your purchase of other select 4G Android phones. One day only on Black Friday, November 29th at InSignal, your local Verizon premium wireless retailer. Shop InSignal today in Lyman at 1144 Main Street. To your activation required, some restrictions apply. Selection may vary at each location. There's nothing like the smoky, wood-burning flavors of slow cooking. And now Arby's has the perfect smokehouse taste that you crave. The new smokehouse brisket sandwich features thinly sliced beef brisket that has been smoked for at least 13 hours. Melted smoked Gouda cheese, crispy onions, and smoky barbecue sauce and mayo served on a toasted star top bun. Come to Arby's at 2221 West 6th Street to try it today. Arby's slicing up freshness. Want to raise money for your nonprofit group or sports team and score tickets to a Broncos game? From now through December, every time your organization hosts a fundraising event at an Arby's in Colorado or Wyoming, your group will be put into a drawing to win a set of club level Broncos tickets and pregame field passes. Head over to our Lyman location at 2221 West 6th Street today for more information. Arby's, where great food gives back. The following is an interview with a real high school student currently enrolled at Morgan Community College. For me, it's been a huge relief, but challenging as well. It makes it so that when I get into a college that I already have my general credits, I can go into something knowing that... I've already taken this, I can go further. And I will talk to admissions representatives and I'll say, well, I will be graduating high school with this 65 college credits. They look at me like I'm crazy. I'm ready to move forward. And I guess it's been, it's been easier, I think, being able to see myself in college thanks to having had college classes. I feel totally prepared and I really feel like I'll be able to, once I get into wherever I decide to go, I feel like I'll be able to just start. I won't have very many questions, I'll just be able to go. To get a jump start on your college career, log on to morgancc.edu or drop by their Lyman office at 942nd Street. This is an interview with an actual Morgan Community College parent. My oldest daughter graduated from high school and went on to college and she took 35 credit hours with her. What that did for us was saved us one complete year of her four-year college that we didn't have to pay for. And it was one of the greatest gifts that we could have gotten by saving that one year. Our youngest daughter is now a junior in high school and she just recently enrolled in Morgan Community College classes while she's in high school. And it's just, it's a, a wonderful program that they offer these high school students to take these college classes. I think everybody should do that if their children are thinking about going on and getting a college degree. Um, it's a wonderful thing. The Morgan Community College people have been so great to work with and so helpful and whatever you need there, they're there to help you in any way they can. To jumpstart your child's college education, log on to morgancc.edu. All right, we're back here at Lyman High School, and I have a special guest who just popped in here, Logan Vick, <laughs> my play-by-play -play buddy from two, year, three, two, two years ago. Two years my ago, goodness. Yeah. It's been a while. So, Logan, uh, we just were talking about kind of what you're doing. Can you catch everybody else up what you're doing? Uh, well, currently right now I'm uh, headed in to do an internship there at the National Western Stock Show and Rodeo. Uh, that'll be through January 27th, and I am uh, I'm in the sponsorship department. I'm doing a lot of 
making sure sponsors get what they want and what they need really to kind of be it, where it, they need to be at certain times and whatnot. And, so. and that is not an easy job because no. you're dealing with people that you have to please that are paying big sponsorship. And yes, absolutely. There's a lot of money oh, yeah. that they pay. So, I mean, it, it's definitely an important job. I mean, you got to keep the sponsors happy because the sponsors are what keep Rodeo alive. And, you know, as a contestant, I love to see those sponsors keep coming in and supporting us. So, I mean, I thank everybody who does support any kind of form of rodeo, from a fan to an actual sponsor. I do thank you very much. I mean, if it's not for you guys, the, the sport of rodeo wouldn't be alive. I really do thank everybody for that. You know, on that note, uh, real quickly before we get stats going here, uh, tell us, A, you're at Garden City Community College. Yes, sir. And you told me that you are actually sitting 10th right now uh, in the I'm in the top 10. Uh, top I'm not sure if it's for uh, top the bottom 10th, okay. but I am in the top 10 in the cavern right now. And uh, I started... Uh, steer wrestling, and I think I'm top 15 in that right wow. now. So, I mean, it hadn't been too awful of a season yet. It's going pretty good. So, good hope deal. I can keep it up. Hey, I have uh, seven more rodeos coming up this next semester. So, wow. be gone about every weekend. Wow. Laundry's going to be hard to keep up on. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> All right. Well, so, good luck to you, yeah, buddy. We're going to go ahead and switch over here. Stick around. All right. Logan Vick stopping in and, and seeing us for a little bit. As uh, Andrew, do you have some stats? All righty. Do you want me to do Lyman or Go ahead, Marino real first? quickly. Do you yeah. want me to do Lyman or Marino? Uh, let's do Lyman first. Okay. I have Katura Tatum with 27 points. She was the lead 27. scorer. 27. 27 points. Wow. I have Vic for six points, Flork for three points, Meyer for two points, Lineber for four points, Anderson for two points, and Hollenbaugh for 12 points, and Reyes for four points. Okay, for the sake of time, tell me how many turnovers the Badgers had. Uh, turnover 17 is what I got. Okay, so much better than they did the last game. Yes. Last but game they had like 20-something. Yeah, I think it was actually 32, I think, is what Aaron told me. Um, let's talk about the Rams real quickly, and then we got to switch over to the men's side. All right. Um, for Marino, Walzer was the lead scorer with 15 points. Book with 9 points. Um Mari with 11 points, Shino with 5 points, and Prompts with 7 points. All right. And they had, I don't know, how many turnovers did they have, Andrew? I have 23. 23? Okay. That, I don't think I counted their That's very there. unofficial. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say they had about that. They had a lot. All right, I'll tell you what. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break. Anna Weissensee, thank you very much for stats. You're welcome. Andrew and I will be back with Joe Brewer on the boys' side here in just a moment. So pick us up on the ColoradoPreps.tv boys' link. We'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> 